Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I am playing, as you can see on the screen, Risk of Rain 2. Now, I did play a bunch of Risk of Rain 1, or Risk of Rain, for that matter, like the um, predecessor, so or the prequel if you want to. But I was very lenient to actually get my hands onto Risk of Rain 2. I mean, I did play a bunch of, like, if you look at that, it's like, uh, that was one of my runs in Risk of Rain, uh, 1. Um, I had a bunch of those rather longer runs, so... It's not like I just, uh, dabbled around in it a little bit. But, we will see how it goes here. I literally just started the game, fired it up to see if the audio levels should be alright, so... Um, that's about it. I mean, I can show you here in my logbook that, um, I have... Playing time, longest run, like 1 minute and 50 seconds, so... I virtually did not play a whole lot, so we're gonna be diving into the commander. I think that's the engineer, that's the huntress. That one, not sure, that looks like the miner might be, and about those two, absolutely no clue. So we're gonna be playing Rainstorm difficulty, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go balls deep on Monsoon, so... And, uh, yes, we're gonna start and see how things go, Titanic Planes. I do know how chests look and uh, certain other things. Pray you have invited the challenge of a mountain. What? I have no clue what I just did. Um, the first thing I immediately noticed is that I I should probably... Can I pause? Okay, I can pause. Um, can I actually... Why does it... Wait. Is there actually something like auto sprint? Unfortunately, no. So, dear Ho Hopu, Hupo, Hupu games, um, don't make toggle sprint, just make it auto sprint because I do wanna. Uh, we're, we're probably gonna get used to it, but still, I think because there's no reason to not sprint in this game since there's no stamina or something. Um, why would you not sprint? Because if you fire, you automatically stop sprinting. So, I don't exactly understand why you would, uh, on items. Oh wait, I have to trade an item in apparently. To get this one. As I said, I haven't learned a whole lot of things. Um, some of these containers are rather small for me, to be honest. So, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be seeing. Difficulty always increasing while playing, of course. It's a risk of rain after all. So the other thing I noticed is that this is going to be a lot more movement intensive than risk of rain because it's not only 2D but 3D. Um, generally though, it feels very, very good. I'm very happy and um, it feels solid. It feels satisfying what you're doing. So it doesn't feel clunky. It doesn't feel like you're hampered by the game or something, but it looks quite nice. The, the one thing, the other thing I noticed is that the cooldowns, you, at least for me, I kind of have to like more or less actively look down the screen to actually see my cooldowns. But I think as time goes by, I'm going to be seeing that. So what do we get? Bandolier, chance to kill, chance to kill to drop an ammo pack that resets cooldowns. Okay, that's good. So I do hope that the music's not too loud. I might actually, honestly, I think it's a tad bit taller, so we're gonna go like, maybe, and music like 2%. Oh, that should be good. So let's see what this one is. This one interested me because, okay, it's not, it's not bad. So, let's see, because that looks like the soldier's syringe. I don't exactly understand Q. I cannot do that, okay. And at risk of rain 1, the soldier's syringe re uh, increased your attack speed, so that was good. I do recognize most of these enemies. So far, it's looking good. That, that, those are these ammo packs. I'm interested if I can actually take this turret with me. Oh, it doesn't seem like it. It kind of makes sense that I will be fighting around this area now. Try not activate the teleporter. Come on, give me an item. Chance to bleed enemies on hit. The tree tip dagger. 
So far, all these items are rather familiar. This looks like another turret. I do want chests, though. I'm not sure if they will actually change those in the future or not. But at least at the very beginning, I had kind of trouble to actually locate something. Rico seems to be a factor. Wow, those are tanky. Holy shit. Why do I not want to be in that globe, I think? So, like, coming from Risk of Rain 1, I do know that if I spend too much time in the first area, like, literally trying to- oh, shit. I should have not been there. Willow the Wisp. Okay. That was a legendary item back in the days, I think. Um, what I was about to say that like, if you spend too much time in the first level trying to get every crate, uh, you usually end up being completely underpowered going through the next stages and just getting obliterated by everything. I still want to know use 3d printer yeah that's the soldier's syringe okay i'm not entirely sure oh it probably takes white quality items now i get it okay i think that was my because i swapped the same wow because for me it swapped the same item in i traded so it probably just takes the level of quality. I do like the visual effects of it though. Wait, wasn't that another chest? I think I opened that one already. Okay. Pardon me. My nose is a little bit clogged. That's the teleporter. So we're gonna check out a little bit. That turret is massively helpful though. Like incredibly helpful. Oh, ouch. Ow! This is... This is already much more intense than I thought it's gonna be because I was like, well, it's risk of rain, so it's just gonna be like shooting, jumping, shooting, jumping. But I'm telling you, it's incredibly... It's not bad, it's just very strange to get used to a roguelike top... or it used to be like a 2D platformer, a shooter. So let's see if I can sprint past these guys. I do want like three more items before. I have like so much gold. Oh, ukulele, and that one's really, really good. There's another chest. I don't exactly know what I triggered at the start when I did the challenge of the mountain. No freaking clue what I did. Um, as far as I recall. Gold goes away when we switch, so... You know what? We're gonna activate the teleporters for that. I think I saw a chest there. We're gonna... Ow. See what this one has for me? Oh, another syringe. We're gonna activate the telly and just see where it goes. I mean, I'm already seven minutes in. So I'm not sure how far I'll be going. This might very well end soon. So let's see. It's probably gonna be the Magma Worm. Oh no, a Vagrant. Wow. Wait, what? Why, why are there two Vagrants? And what the hell is this spear? Um, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay, this is jammed apparently. Oh, it seems like turrets are jammed or what? So... I really do not know what's going on right now, but... So far we're, we're alive, so that's that's all that matters, I think. Get away from me, bro. It's 
It seems like you can evade a lot of this shit going on. I mean, it was like that in um, Risk of Rain 1, that you didn't really have to deal with the mobs if you were... Okay, I think we have to do a little bit of cleaning up here before I get wrecked completely here. Uh, what I was going to say is that in Risk of Rain 1, if you had the movement, you could literally just focus on the boss and uh, eliminate that one. But I think I'd be slaughtered very soon if I don't take these pesky shooting things, wisps or whatever. Oh god. Come on, blade. No. That orb or sphere, wherever that thing is coming from, I don't like it. Hey, the turret is shooting. Okay. Screw you, I'm just gonna focus that background down. He's almost gone. Ow. Come on, die. Poof. There we go. Well, that was my first boss call. Now on to these little poor ones. Lemurian. Hey, did the boss drop something? Oh wait, I have to stay in this zone or what? Also, didn't the does the boss not drop anything? Really? Hey, that's not nice. I could have sworn that every boss in Risk of Rain won't drop something. Apparently I have to stay in the zone, is that correct? Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, that was not very smart, that was it. I mean, it was. I can tell you that much. Okay, so sidestepping seems to be handling a lot of things. And all the... Really? I mean, these turrets are, are golden. They literally are. I can probably just camp here. Well, never mind, but... We're gonna be seeing... Ouch. The turrets are just completely annihilating everything. Holy moly. Yeah. I think it's looking good. Another elite. It's definitely gonna improve my aim, that's for sure. Now we're about to get into the next zone. Oh yeah. Hello? So the gold is transferred into... Oh, jeez. The gold is transferred into experience. Okay. Oh, these are sand crabs or something? Oh, shit. I do really like the visuals though. Like, I'm a fan of these. Well, it's not really pixel art, but you know, it's this different art style that I really, really enjoy. I don't even know how to put that one. So, where are chests? I think if I drop down there, I'm probably dead. Or we're not gonna drop down there. Probably gonna be a chest, isn't it? Christ. Man, the ukulele is such a good item. It was already such a good item in the first one, but man. This one really packs a punch here. Come on, give me some more goldies. I think I need like seven or eight more. Four. Stop moving, stop moving. Alright. Please. 
be enough. Wow, they look good. They do look good indeed. Oh, what? What the hell? Where? Oh, I think I'm leaving. I think I'm leaving the game area here, am I not? Most likely, okay. Now I got that. I'm not entirely sure why they would do it that way, but fair enough. So, let's see if we can get down there. Probably not. Maybe in the future, who knows. This looks more like a chest of swords. What do we have here? Bustling fungus, that's a good one. And what was the other one? Gain a recharging shield. Not bad, is it? Freaking hell. The drone keeps confusing me, to be honest. What do we have, we have here? Open terminal. I do love my attack speed, I'm not gonna lie. So... Oh, a banner. How oh, I love that item. More 93. Gain 100 critical chance for. Okay, that's an activative. That's an activative. That was a very good display of my English skills these days. An active item. That's what I wanted to say. So the shrine is done. So I should be heading somewhere. I'm just gonna sprint. And see where we're going. Okay, this is a bunch of enemies, right? Hold on. Okay, that one will be really good to mow down bosses. So this looks like another drone of some sorts. Okay, that was just a chest. Right. Isn't that the same one I have? Talk about odds, really. I do actually believe my mouse is a tad bit too slow for this game. I might actually have to increase my sensitivity just a tad bit. On dead. I really shouldn't be meddling around with the enemy so much. Have well, that's a banner, right? We have here. Low enemies on hit. That's good. Question for me is where is the freaking teleport? I'm gonna sprint down there. I mean, we're 17 minutes in. I'm not really that well equipped yet. I'm in the second stage, so I should be fine, but you know. For those of you who do know Risk of Rain, you do know that this game can turn quite brutal in a fraction of a time, really. So. What's that one? That looks like a grenade. Oh, custom grenade. Stun grenade, yeah. Oh, same shit. 
I'm not sure if my LMB attack is hit scanner or not. Not like it matters that much, but I really do want to find the telly though. I'm getting slightly slightly nervous about not finding the teleporter because since you now have to stay within the vicinity of the teleporter. I don't recall it being that way in the old one. You just had to activate it and survive, I think, for like two minutes. So there's the telly. Let's go! And see where we go. Teleporter. Stone Titan. What? Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, that's not fun. Jesus. I'm dead! <laughs> wow, I'm freaking dead. Alright, there we go. Um, well, it was well over 20 minutes. 19 minutes. The video's over 20 minutes. I guess that's a very, very good time to cut down the video. Anyways, um, thank you guys for joining me into another video. I'm not sure, I might be doing Risk of Rain videos. The problem with Risk of Rain is it tends to be rather lengthy. So... I'm not sure if I'm gonna be more of it, or gonna be doing more videos. Maybe like every every week, or we're gonna be doing one or two runs. So I'll be seeing that. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Pardon me. I did enjoy actually me playing Risk of Rain, and I will see you guys next time.